Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil. What am I going to say? I hope all is well in your life. I hope God is blessing you and doing you're doing well. Um, what is, what's the experiment I'm going to do here? I'm going to experiment is I'm going to take some of this uh, VAM powder of vesicular, a muscular, mycorrhizal, and I'm going to sprinkle it on top of this brown rice. And then I'm going to take this brown rice and put it in my IMO chamber, my indigenous microorganism chamber, which is a collection of different soils that I've collected throughout the years and different bacteria and fungi sources and cover it up, keep it dark and cool, and uh, then come back to it in about a week and a half, maybe less, and just to see what type of growth I've had on top. Uh, last time I did brown rice, it was more bacteria dominated compared to a mycocillin dominated. Wasn't a lot of that white fur on top that you expect from white rice. Brown rice has like a, with the brand, it's more bacteria friendly from what I gather. And so I thought I'd boost the, uh, the mycocillin growth a little bit by sprinkling some mycorrhizal on top. And that way we get a little more mycocillin growth. And uh, I just want to share this experiment with you. And um, then, you know, after I can mix some brown sugar in with it and uh, keep it for about six months to a year is an IMO2. Uh, so basically I'm making, I'm, I got a, you know, an IMO1 after I'm done with this, then IMO2 with the brown sugar, and then uh, I can make some IMO3 with some wheat bran. And um, uh, so that's basically what I'm doing. Um, uh, mycorrhizal, what can I say about it? Um, do your research, and, but you'll see that it does help with your root systems to collect moisture, to collect food, to collect uh, a lot of different nutrients and things like that for your plant. It breaks down and mobilizes a lot of different nutrients. It's just an amazing thing. If you don't have it in your garden or in your indoor or outdoor garden, then you're really lacking then you might as well just go with chemical, you know, why bother? If you're not going to put life in your soil, why bother being a gardener? You know what I mean? It's like um, it's like a, a, a person who opens up a restaurant and, and uses only canned goods and, and, and makes gravy from bags and things like that. And it's like, what's the challenge? Why even bother doing it? Why even bother having a restaurant just to make money? I guess that's okay, but that shouldn't, it should be a little fun, you know, have some fun, and really, and just use nature for what it is. God has placed everything in nature that we need to grow successfully and grow big, strong, healthy plants that are, make us big and strong and healthy. Um, so, uh, that set being said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and sprinkle it on top evenly. This whole pile here, then I'm going to put it in the IMO chamber. I'll check back with you in a week. And I'm um, hoping that God's blessing you. You guys pray for me too. You know, I'm, I you know, struggle from time to time. And um, that's why I'm doing this video. I thought I'd do a video for my friends out there. Just a, you know, fun experiment. And maybe something that could be useful for you down the road. May God bless you this day.